Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. In this short video, I am going through how I wash my dishes. I travel full time in my minivan camper with my dog, Winston. And honestly, dishes is something that I do a lot, but I don't really think to show it very often. This is a requested video and it will be on the playlist of short form videos, which is a collection of content anywhere from three to seven minutes long. I try and keep them under that five minute mark where I'm showing you something very specific or teaching a skill, something van life related. So be sure to check out that playlist if you are learning about van life. But this is how I do my dishes. Let's get into it. If you are new to my channel, I will tell you that everything I do in my van life is extremely simple. I am a minimalist. I keep things as easy as possible. So what you're seeing right here in front of me is my dishwashing station. I have several tables, but this is often the one that I use, this aluminum folding table. I love it. This is my sink. It is a collapsible silicone bucket. I purchased a two pack on Amazon. All of the links will be in the description so you guys can pick up uh, these items if you need them. This is a three gallon water jug. I purchased it at Walmart. I actually carry two of these with me. One specifically for shower water, the other one for my dishes. This is my electric water dispenser. There are so many different types of these on Amazon. I've had two different types. I've had this one for about two years. It is USB charging. A charge on this will last me about a month to six weeks depending on how often I'm using it. It is attached to a hose and I just put it on top of my water jug. It sits here. It's not attached permanently because I take everything apart and put it in my van when I'm traveling. I will screw the lid onto my jug, put it up front, disconnect this and just put it away. It's extremely simple. But you can choose on your electric water dispenser to do the 600 milliliter fill up. It will fill something 600 milliliters and then shut off. Otherwise, you just press the button and you get a nice wa water flow. You do have to press it once and then press it again to turn it off. Otherwise, I believe it lasts or runs about 30 seconds. Since I do have a running water system, I'll just use Dawn or palm olive and a sponge. I will wash dishes just like everybody else. Once I'm done with the dishes, I will lay them out on a towel. I also have a little plastic dish rack which I use when I have my bigger table set up and I'll just let them air dry. So it's really no different than using a sink at home. And then once I'm done with this gray water, I will dump it out maybe in like a campfire ring or I'll find a bush that needs to be watered. And that's it. Very simple. But let me show you what else I do if I'm maybe stuck in the van or I don't need to use the full sink and dish soap. Uh, what am I trying to say? If I don't need to use that method. The other method I use for doing my dishes is this little spray bottle. And you might be asking yourself, Amanda, what is in that spray bottle? Well, this is a vinegar and water mixture. It is white vinegar and water. I think I do one part vinegar to three parts water. Some people use a different mixture. That's what I use and it works well for me. So I will literally just spray something down like a plate, a bowl, even my pan after I cook bacon. This is really good. So I'll just spray the vinegar and water mixture, wipe it up with a paper towel, and that's literally it. So I will use this dishwashing method when I'm in my van and I can't set up my full sink and running water. This is just... Uh, it's easy, you save water, and it gets everything really clean. And I will say from experience that using this, I have never tasted vinegar on my dishes or my silverware after I've cleaned it. So this is tried and true, and honestly, so many van lifers and campers use the vinegar and water method. So my friends, that is literally it. You have running water, a sink, dish soap, sponge, just like you would at a conventional residence, or you can use a vinegar and water mixture. Be sure to check out my other content. Like I said, if you are learning about van life or there's stuff you need to know about, I have all sorts of short videos, how to shower, how to find free campsites, 
those really important topics that we don't often chat about on a daily basis. So like this video and subscribe. If you are new here, be sure to turn on your notifications and I will see you next time.